So what you got? Hey, what, I got. what do you got? Fireboy. We already went through there. You still don't know your fucking lyrics. It's despicable. Man, I, Let me that's... tell you what I got. Matter of fact, what you need. Whole orders, half orders, four ways, nigga, bust it down the gates. So what do you got? Don't talk about fried rice. You know, half mm-hmm. orders, whole orders. Mm-hmm. No. What's the hardest move to make? The what? Hardest move to make. For who? A regular person? You said it. Moving out of town? Getting out of your surroundings? You're a fucking liar, you know that? What? what Let me read something to you. <laughs> <laughs> what did I say? OG told me, look, the hard, your hardest move is to make a 100000 Smart enough to go get you an M. You're smart to go get you an M. I guess. I guess. So have you been smart yet? Uh uh-uh. uh. I ain't smart yet. I ain't even gonna act like I'm smart yet. I'll be a lying ass bitch to act the same long. Oh shit! <clears throat> Pink tacos? Yeah. What the fuck is that? It's a restaurant. Where's it located? I've never heard of it. It's one in Miami and LA. So which one did you go to? LA. So do they really have pink tacos? I don't know. Oh, Ethan. So, what the... You didn't hear the song? I heard the song, but I really wasn't crazy. I was busting jewels at Pink Tacos. I never said I ate there. You gotta listen. You listen so much. <laughs> listen so fucking more. Yeah, the only thing that threw me off was you talking about drag racing and shit. Yeah. Broadway and shit. Yeah. You do that often? Mm-mm. You know, I used to do that back in the day when you was a kid. Broadway used to be lit. That's what Woody Mac used to do. World Tour, we try to call like a senior citizen, man. He's no fun. No fun. World Tour, we're fucking boring. He's just rich. yawning. It's about two o'clock. He's just rich. I ain't rich yet. Bring back Woody. Bring back Woody. If y'all agree with that, bring back Woody. Damn. Woody versus Woody. I think that should be the next next thing. I should host it. Yeah. You want to host it? Mm-hmm. Do you think it's unacceptable for somebody to ask you for a front? Yeah. Why? It's unacceptable, man. Why? Cause if you ain't been getting, if you ain't been spending, you shouldn't. And uh, most people these days, I ain't trustworthy for front. You know. And uh, he's trying to become a slapper. Rents do it's inflation. A lot of things going on. Man. He fucked his money up. Man, he can't read up. Man, he's trying to get a fucking front for me. Yeah, yawning is contagious. Like being broke is contagious. You don't hang around broke people. Do you? Yeah. Can I kick it with you for a day or two? You know, I'm kind of broke. You know, probably go to the mall with you. You turn it down. It'll be a nice. You think I do that? This looks like about a cool thousand dollar outfit. You don't know where I bought this? Uh, You don't know where? Booster. Fuck the boosters. 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 You you bitches don't. You bitches act like y'all can't steal clothes and shit to make money no more. Y'all want to steal clothes so y'all motherfucking sell. And then y'all don't even charge fifty percent when y'all selling the clothes. Y'all want to charge niggas thirty percent off and shit. Nigga go to the outlet for that shit. Then y'all go to the outlet to get the clothes and then charge what the tag say for real, for real. Because you know on the outlet you gonna be having an orange sticker on that bitch. Uh-huh. They had a half of the price. It's okay, you can go. We I take you there. Uh-huh. You feel me? Get fly for the love. But they got the little orange sticker on there. It'd be like you know, the fifty percent off or whatever. Them bitches rip that off and then charge what it say half of that so they could get man, bro. Supposed to be playing games, bro. Fuck them hoes. You just pissed me off. Think about this shit. Cause just you feel me? What the fuck just happened? That's just a pet peeve of mine. Boosters, okay. faking ass, faking ass boosters, bro. So you wouldn't consider yourself as a liar. I don't know. I, you probably finna tell me where I lied at. So I, yeah. yeah, let me hear it. Keep saying this is my last run, but I need one more. Why the fuck can't you just keep holding on? You just, you I just, need you one more. Keep... keep saying this is my last run, but I need one more. MGM Grand Prince is sweet on that one flow. Pals. 20 bitches in the room. We about, about to get, get kicked, kicked out. out. Yeah. Niggas in their feelings because they can't get a front. Tell yeah. them catch you flint, nigga. I'm in LA for a month. So he drive a crazy bitch. It's 50 bowls in his trunk. 30 worth of Skittles and it's 20 bowls worth the rest. True story. But shit, uh, man, like. Yes, that's, 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 that was a nice record, man. You know? You were talking to me, you know, worth the shit. Oh, that was Woody Mac on there. Bro, too, Woody be snapping, too. You know, I really felt attacked. 
by this wow. last record that you just dropped. Yeah. What is it? What is it? Let me, let me read it to you. I've been fucked up before, but never fucked up and had to sell my phone. Never. Or my PS5. I've been there. Or PS4. Or I, PS3. I've been there. Never. So the shit out my strap. Damn, right so you telling me, hold on. So you gonna sell the shit that could make you some money? You gonna sell your lifesaver? So you telling me it's that detrimental that you just don't care about your life no more? I mean, shit. If the, you if know a nigga off, fucked up when he don't care about his life no more. I mean, I really don't got out to like this. So, you know, I pined it. You know, when you pine something, you're going to get it back. Fuck that. So, I went and got it back. I mean, I needed the money. I had to pay my fucking life bill, man. Fuck that. Hold on, you got phones going off over there. Phones going off over there. You just there. said I can't have three phones. <sighs> but you got two in your pocket. You know what? Fuck it. You sold your gun? Yeah, I had to sell it. Yeah. That's past hood bankruptcy. You just went flat. Flat on my fucking face. You sold your phone? Sold my phone before, yeah. How much you sell it for? I took it to the pawn shop. How much I give you? You don't want to know. How much I give you? 80 fucking dollars. You could have sold it to me if you got more than that. What type of gun was it? I just talked about it by my gun. That same tours. Yeah, I would have gave your ass $80 too. You gotta get a little Glock or something. <laughs> Binkers. I don't carry weapons anymore. I don't carry guns. Not anymore. Well, you I know when you first met me, I did. You know, I was a little wild back then. You might have had that little weak ass Taurus. Thought you was you a remember, shit. You remember that little Taurus I had? In that Mazda and shit you had yeah. with two zips on you. Yeah, I kept thinking you was Big Meech. Yeah. Two zips of bullshit ass weed. I remember that. You're going too far now. Two zips of bullshit. Pump your brakes now. Pump your brakes. Didn't, didn't, didn't you? Didn't you? Didn't you say you was trapping with Key Glock or some shit like that? I've never said I was trapping with Key Glock. He said you was in the dorm. No, I, I think I said I've seen Key Glock at TSU. Oh, he said you was with Key Glock at TSU. Yeah, I was in the dorm and shit like that. Was your boy? I said that. You I was, was lying ass nigga. Lying like a nigga. You lying ass nigga. I don't call. He said that was your boy. I used to trap with him and shit. All these are shopping safe. All these. You don't know they got them. They got them thigh ass, uh, soft ass sugar cookies. And all these, that's really where that shit started at. Uh, Root Chris of Miami Grill. I don't really like Root Chris like that. Be yeah. honest. I'm bro. I'm bro. I'm, I'm a hibachi eating ass nigga. You know I write about that shit too, but like, I don't really like. That's why I asked. Yeah, I don't really like Root Chris like that. That shit overrated. Chinese food. Wheat. Yeah. You know You're I stopped sick. eating that shit for a long time. You're sick. I stopped eating it for a long time. Yeah. Have you ever have you ever seen a Chinese person in the grocery store? Yeah, you gotta go to that grocery store. You know what I'm saying? A fun fact about Chinese people? Yeah. They only shop within their community. They like Jewish people, man. They do got their own grocery store. Yeah, oh god, it's right there in your city. You ain't That's where I'm from. Who, how the fuck did I know? You talking about the Chinatown? Oh, yeah, I don't know. the supermarket. Come on, man. You ain't gonna ever see them niggas in our shit. So I don't know. So we need to go in there then. Because it might be some dogs wrapped up in that damn place. I seen some cats right there on the west in your hood. What's that Chinese in your hood? There's one that's too. It's Delmar Leaves and then it's, uh, what's the name? Uh, 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 yeah, right there off of Delmar, that one. They had some cats running around the establishment five minutes later. They was gone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they, I see you're very cool with Skiller, baby. How, how did that happen? Slapping. You slapping. So you good in the D. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's some niggas from like, the name like World Tour. They're like, I don't know why they said I took their name, but I. Promise to God, I have not heard about them niggas. So, do you guys yeah. like fuck up the club together, like buying expensive ass bottles and standing on people's sofa and just throwing money and shit? You know the truth. Yeah, I can't keep up with real rappers. Real rappers. Real rappers. Like I'm be, I ain't real rapper yet. They real rappers. Not like saying they just rap niggas, but like. Well, do you have this contact information? I need to contact them and tell them they need to stop that shit. Yeah, I can face. You know what I'm saying? Right niggas, niggas, niggas is out here working fifty hour jobs. You know what I'm saying? Then come to the club, see a nigga with all this jewelry on, standing on the couch, ordering these damn bottles, got the little pretty girls walking around, knocking shit out. That's how they do. They be like this, look. walking around, bumping up for everybody and shit. You hear me be having me dropping look. my drink? How, who, who's drinking all that shit? I got a bottle of Casamigos in my car. Who's drinking all of that? So you just pass it out to the women? Yeah. Tell, tell, tell Skiller to get up and me. Y'all need to stop that shit. Please stop. Why? I just told you why. Nigga working the forklift, bro. He coming in there, bro, just to get a drink. He can't get a drink because the bartender all back there. She all stressed out because she trying to get y'all order ready. 
Y'all don't personal. care about nobody but y'all selling, man. Y'all need to calm down with all this fucking money. I was, man. What's next, man? What you got planned, bro? Album release? What's next, man? I'm gonna drop a tape. I got a, a the tape. streets been needing me, man. I've been hearing that shit niggas making, bro. They need me. They need real rap. I I do think rap is dying. Rap is dead. I think I'll be getting discouraged some days. I'll be like, damn, this rap shit ain't selling like that. Like, damn. I'm hey, gonna go get them though. By the looks of it, you're not struggling. Never know. Everything not what it seems. Looks to be seen. So, so before you get out of here, what's some advice that you can give somebody that doesn't have what you have? You can give what I got. Mm-hmm. It ain't hard. It ain't hard. Got to pick you a line and stick with it. Stick with it. Stick with it. Like you see, you doing your comedy shit. I'm it took me five years to get here. Which you will be, but but. Will you please tell these people though, because they think that I've always just been. But, but let me tell you though, I don't think they believe my story. Let me tell you though, but once you figure it out, it's like, you know, yeah. it could take you five years to figure it out. But once you actually, that's the part that people don't get. You feel me? Like you could be five years into trying to figure something out, and then the moment you figure something out, it's like you out of here. I want you to remember this setup too, bro. You're. Because next we don't know where it's gonna be at. We gonna be in a fucking mansion. Yeah, we gonna we gonna we gonna be doing the interview there. Don't be talking about my Popeyes. I'm gonna give you a tip. Where you think I got this shit from, nigga? I worked at Popeyes for real. I don't real, think you. Nigga. I don't think you worked. I worked at Popeyes for real, nigga. Because this first off, this uniform big as fuck. This shirt big as this shirt so big. Bro, big I worked at the one on page, bro. I worked at the one on page, bro. Like they didn't have no uniform, they didn't have nothing, bro. It's the only shirt that they had, bro. You know, right in the hood, it was right. You know, it's a page there, was right. All I had to do was jump. I don't believe. I worked it, bro. Do you know how many jobs I done had in my life? I don't believe. I stayed with a job, bro. I don't believe. I don't believe. Where my man at? Y'all still cool? Yeah, that's my boy. Why oh, you ain't interviewed him? Oh, that's coming. It's coming. It's coming. I'm I like my man. Yeah, I, you know I who like you remind me of? He cool. You know who you remind me of? Boy, who? The city might be mad, but that's the new school O'Shea, bro. Nah, you can't say that. I can. See, you ain't been around him. You been around I've him. I've been around bro. him. I'm talking about how I've been around him. He reminded me of O'Shea, bro. Well, I probably went too far saying the new school O'Shea. But his O'Shea energy was, shit, O'Shea was like. That's a different type of nigga. It's, he was one on one. He like Lizzie. They one on one niggas. You can't. You can't right. say So that. you telling me man man getting his head bounced on by asses. You can't see O'Shea like that. You can't <laughs> All right, I ain't gonna put my boy business out there though, right? You wanna keep it a hundred. The only difference between O'Shea and Man Man, O'Shea was really fucking shit. Yeah, he was getting more ass than the toilet seat. If you if you think he was bouncing his head on asses, he was fucking. Yeah, he was getting more ass than the toilet seat. Come on, man. Who you with?